In this video, I will show you how to add the JS and CSS in the custom module. In the last video, we have created this custom Ajax form and uh, you can check this video link by clicking on this suggestion or I will add the link in the description of this video. So in this Ajax form, we have added these four fields. I will add some random data and we will save this. You can see here we are getting this message form is submitted successfully but now I want to change this font color to the green and I want to increase the font size as well. So for that we need to add the CSS and I will show you how to add the CSS as well as the JS in this custom Ajax form. For that go to the module. My module name is the employee. Inside the module create one folder for the CSS and the same way create the another folder for the JS. In the CSS folder I will create the one CSS file. That file name will be employee.css. In CSS I will add some CSS to change that uh, font color to green and increase the size of the font. First I will inspect this element. I will show you the what is the class name of that. The class name of that div is the success. So I will add the CSS for that access class. First I will change the color. Color. I want to change that color to the green. And increase the font size. 25 pixel. Font weight to the bold. So now we have created this CSS file. Now I will create one JS file as well. So inside the JS folder create the JS file. So the JS file name will be employee.js and inside uh, this JS file I will add the alert message when the page get load that time I will show the one message in the alert for that. So first we need to write the function dollar Google Google settings after that use strict dollar document dot ready function add some message in the alert hello and we'll close this with the jQuery Drupal Drupal settings so this is the way to create the JS file in a Drupal now we need to include this JS and CSS file in our custom for for that we need to create the one library file so in the employee model I will create the one library file employee.libraries dot yml file inside this file first i will write the employee underscore js underscore css so this will be the, our library name below that version version is 1.0 next to include the css first we need to mention this css attribute below that add more attribute theme after that mention the css file name with the path our file is placed inside the css folder and the file name is employee.css now i want to add the js for that add the js at, as an attribute and uh, below that mention the path of the js file js file name is the employee.js colon and that close curly braces save this file now go to the ajax form employee ajax form page and uh, to add the custom js and css inside the form below the save button we will attach the both css and js which we have included in this library so the syntax for that is dollar form hash attach
after that mention the library equal to module name and the name of the library so our library name is employee js underscore cs i will add that here save the changes and uh, clear the cache the cache is clear now go to the our page and uh, refresh this page so after refreshing we should get the one alert message which we have mentioned here in the js file the message which is displaying here after submitting this form its color should be the green and the font size should be the 25 pixel so now i'll refresh this page and we will see if the changes are applied or not from the js and the css file so we are getting this hello message from the javascript file and uh, now i will submit this form and we will check if that message will get changed or not here we can see the message font is increased and the color is also changed to the green in this way we have added the js and the css file in this custom form and uh, for that we have just added this line to include library inside the form i hope you like this video please subscribe the channel so that you will get notified whenever i create the new content thank you